I'm Shadow Guru. In this episode, we're going to go over what you should spend your points on. Now, this is something I've been dealing with since the very beginning. It's trying to figure out what am I going to spend my points on. And when I first started, I spent them horribly. I decided the first thing I'm going to get, because I'm new to this game, I want monsters. So I spent it all on scrolls. Scroll after scroll after scroll. And uh, now that it's late game, I'm definitely uh, behind the curve. It's it's something that I should have paid attention to, and now I get to tell you guys what you guys should actually be buying. So to start it off, let's talk about the glory points that you receive from Arena. Now, when you get a higher grade in Arena, that when you win the battles, you get more glory points, blah, blah, blah. You should already know how that works. But how you should spend these points is definitely, at least initially, not on scrolls. Um, when I first got this, I didn't really know what I should be getting, and I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just get whatever. It's not a big deal, right? Wrong. I was very, very, very wrong. If I would have, like, actually taken the time and purchased the correct things at the beginning, I would be much further than where I am at now. So, to start things off, you will always, every single time it comes up, you will get the Devil Mod. That is the number one purchase always with your arena points, because there are just so few and so limited ways to get Devilmon. They're extremely useful, and when you do finally get your 5-star, that's you'll be so thankful that you have a stockpile of these Devilmon waiting for you. Don't use them on your 4-stars unless, like... Actually, no. don't Just don't use it on your 4-stars. Wait. Um, but on your 5-stars, yes, that's exactly where they need to go. Um, beyond that, I, yeah, I spent it horribly. What you should be buying after the Devilmon is the Mysterious Plant. Reason being is when you get to the higher levels where I'm at, and you start farming golems, and you start farming giants, and you're at the B9s and B8s and all that stuff, it takes up so much of your energy, and you just, there's no way to get it back. Like, it's... It's insane the amount of energy you're going to go through throughout this game. So, increasing your Mysterious Plant will increase your energy production. I, I don't have it maxed out because I was horrible before. But now that I know I need to spend it on, I've been just really focusing on getting this. Um, this it should be your very next purchase after your Devilmon. Every single time until you get this thing to level 10. After that... Um, I mean, after that, it starts to widen up. The, the variety of what you can get starts to open up. I personally would say to also get the Sanctum of Energy, just so you have that increased base energy level. Because, um, like I said, when you get later on, you're going to be starved for energy pretty much consistently, every single day. Um, then beyond that, after you're done with your energy and everything, it really is just open to what you kind of see fit. Most of the time, I would recommend that you don't get a scroll unless you're absolutely in desperate need of it. You like you have literally nothing else that's good. If you're only rocking three stars, then definitely go ahead and get that uh, the scrolls. But if you have any four stars whatsoever, any usable four stars, then I would say start building these uh, the structures up. Um, like I said, I, when I purchased poorly, and I don't have nearly enough, um, one of the biggest things that I would say is the Sky Totem, or the Sky Tribe Totem, because speed is pretty much consistent over the board, consistently between every monster, one of the best stats. Um, so, when you do get this, I would recommend the Sky Tribe Totem. Um, beyond that, there's this really nifty thing where if you get an entire team just of completely defense-heavy monsters, what you do is you literally max out your Arcane Tower, which increases the tower speed by 2%. You get that to level 10, and you get the other tower increase, which I believe is the Crystal Rock, which increases the tower's attack power, and you literally just sit back and your defense is amazing. You just have this massive, overpowered defense that can't die, 
And, you, like, normally with that, I would say you have something along the lines of a Brian and the Archangels. Um, you, you need something healthy for this to work, but it's kind of hilarious when it does. And especially for lower level monster or lower level players, um, I saw what was it? It was probably a level ten that was doing that with just golems, and it worked surprisingly well. I, I have a side account, and I was like, "Wow, this is actually kind of funny," because it would just literally just sweep every single time. It it got really annoying real quick. And now your guild battle points. This you have to be in a guild for, and you get it by doing the guild battles. Um, when you win, or if you uh, even if you get attacked on your defense, you still get the, some of these points. Um, yet again, they give you these scrolls right off the bat, and they're super tempting. Don't hold off on that, okay? Um, so literally, almost like the uh, arena, you want to go with. The Mons. Always the Mons. The Rainbow Mon, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal to get a 4-star max monster, but once you get... Getting that first 6-star is just so important, and then continuously getting more 6-stars just makes your team ridiculously stronger. I mean, maxing out at 35 is good, and is usable, but once you get them up to that 6-star level, it's, it's a completely different game. They just, it's all, it's super necessary. So, actually, I currently need to buy it, so that's going to be purchased right now. I'm not about to uh, go against what I'm saying. Um, beyond that, things open up vastly with uh, the guild battle points, because there is such a variety out there. Um, I personally, I've seen a lot of people go after the Ifrit. Um... Oh, don't get the cowgirl. Just just don't. It's not worth it. Um, but I've seen a lot of people go for the Ifrit because it's a guaranteed 5-star, and all of the Ifrits are good. They're not amazing, but they're definitely good and definitely worth doing. I personally go with the uh, legendary scroll pieces. Um, that's what I'm currently working on, and I believe those are better than trying to get the element scrolls, like, by far and away. Um, these extra pieces, unless you're specifically looking for, I, I'm trying to remember, uh, Beretta. Uh, getting Beretta is really important. Beretta, that's, that's almost worth it. Um, other than that, I wouldn't even really go for those. But, these flags, these flags are worth it. Um, so, in my whole order of things, you want to start off with the Angelmon. You need to get that every week. That's your number one purchase. Beyond that, if you don't have any of these flags, that's probably that's what my next on the list would be, is to start getting up these flags so that you can start winning more guild battles. It's just... It's worth it. Um, I would say at least get the level one of all of them before you start really focusing on the um, the effort pieces or the um, wow why can't I not remember what it's called the legendary scroll yeah uh, I personally haven't done that because well I'm an addict I love gambling and that scroll is just it's basically like crack to me so I need to get that but after that it's going to end up being those uh, the flags and I'm going to personally start off, uh, is it the Rage? Yeah, the Crit Damage. Because that just, oh, it's so nice. Crit Damage is probably one of the most important stats for the current monsters that I'm using. Um, and it's going to be sweet. And pretty much everything else is kind of a wash. I would, um, the only time that I've ever, I could have had, this guy done already, but I decided I'm going to start spending it on these when I saw a specific monster, the Asasis, in the uh, in the exclusive summon list. So, it didn't. I didn't end up getting the monster, so it was a complete and utter waste, but, you know, 
if you find that one specific monster that you absolutely need for your team, it's not a bad idea to go for the stones. If you don't see it, even if you if it's not on the list at all, there's no point in stacking them up and saving them for if maybe eventually it shows up. It's not worth it. Just go ahead and start using it for the flags or start using it for your ifrit or use it for your legendary scroll. All right? Um, so that's pretty much my rundown of this. You always want the Devilmon, you always want the Angelmon. Those two are the number one things you have to buy. Um, unfortunately, beyond there, it does get a little bit open, but I'm sure you guys will make the right choices. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good one.